Hi, Assertus Nation fans and friends. Assertus's number one priority is to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of our customers, employees, and suppliers. My name is Brandy. I'm here with my daughter, Evie. Hi. And we are going to show you three DIY mask tutorials that are no sew and all use items that you probably already have on hand at home. First one is with a paper towel. You need a paper towel, a stapler, and either a rubber band or a hair tie works as well. Take your paper towel, starting at the top, fold approximately one inch folds, flip it over, one inch fold again, continue down the paper towel, does not have to be exact at all, just when you're folding, kind of press down and make sure these um, folds are good and pressed in. Continue down the paper towel. Once you get to the end, spend a little bit more time here creasing and pressing down on this so that it does stay. Next step, take one of your rubber bands or hair ties, put it just a little bit in from the end of the paper towel just so that the um, rubber band is covered when you fold it over and staple. Sometimes it takes a couple to get it to stay. Flip it over, do the same for the other end. Just a little bit in from the end of the paper towel, fold it over, crease it down a little bit, and staple. So then you're gonna take it, take the um, rubber bands over your ears and separate it. This can be adjusted to however you need it to be on your face. And the accordion helps with the placement and keeping it there. This is a one-time use mask. So if you put this on, go in a store, pump gas, please throw this away after you use it. Do not reuse this mask. Second one is with the t-shirt. Any t-shirt that you have, um, Short sleeve is easier to use, but long sleeve works as well. Take it, put it on as you normally would. This part can be tricky. Takes a couple of times to get it down. Once you have it on, take your sleeves and make sure they're out to the side so that you can grab them. The neck part's gonna go around your nose. If you want your hair tucked in, do that at this time. Reach back, get the back of the t-shirt, and pull it to the front. Now you're going to take your sleeves and tie them in the back. Once again, this takes a little bit to get used to, and you just tie it as tight or as loose as you would like it. You can also take the top off, and it just be from your nose down. After you've worn this, take it off when you get home, wash it, then it's ready to go again. The final one uses um, a piece of fabric, bandana, anything that you probably already have at home. Just want it to be around the size of a bandana. Lay it out, fold it, fold it in half again, about two and a half to three inches in from the end, you're gonna take a rubber band. Same thing on the other end. Then you're gonna fold the ends together. Doesn't matter which one you do first. You're just gonna, whenever you're making the last fold, fold one end into the other. Kind of make sure it's placed in there pretty good because you want it to stay together whenever you put the mask on. So once that's secure, Gonna move your rubber bands to the end of the mask. And then this is just gonna go on over your ears. Very easy, very simple to do. Just adjust it how you want it to be on your face. And then when you're done, take the rubber bands out, wash your mask, and you're good to go again. So that was all we have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate everything that you're doing. 
And although we are social distancing at this time, we are going to get through this together. Stay well and be safe.